Contrary to popular belief, psychics and mediums are not quite the satanic image that standard media would like to portray, nor are they the gypsy scam that people would like to disprove. There's something alluring about the notion of knowing your future and what it has to offer. We decided to investigate this misconstrued art in Manchester and whilst flaneuring, we found Susan Swanston, a popular medium in Netflix. Susie works in Crystal Henge, a small spiritual shop. They sell incense, crystals and conduct tarot card readings. We reached out to Susie and asked for an interview. She graciously accepted. First set of spoons is really hard to kind because of, it was a lot of things. Empathy being one. If you're empathic, you pick up on everybody else's feelings. So walking into a room and thinking, why do you feel uncomfortable for no reason? You know, when people around you, it's, it's just that constant thing with empathy. You pick up on everything and you just, it's really difficult. So generally when I say spirit, it's either my guide or, I mean, there's a picture, there's a picture there of, of somebody which I can tell you about that I actually picked up on my journey. Celine's the mother goddess. It's like if you look, the pagans made mother and crone, so they have all different ones, and Celine was the name that I connected with through meditation, just random. Didn't know who she was. Um, the, I kind of got to the point because of a single parent where uh, I was driving down the road with my kids in the back of the car, and I'm like, I'm not doing this, I'm going to get a cleaning job. I'd seen a cleaning job for £10, and now I thought, I'm going to do that bring me more money in and as I went round the corner this is how I became more connected to Celine you know the, the cloud picture yeah. that's there that was just there I literally went down the corner down a very very deep hill and turned the corner again in my car and the cloud was just there it's like the pregnant woman yeah. do you know which is essentially her because she's the mother yeah. so I stopped took a photograph of it and I was like right that was my main you know my main first experience where spirit went ma you're not you're doing this and interestingly enough, I'd had readings before by people where they've said, no, spirit want you to work with them. But I got to the point with Celine where I'd done everything I needed to. And all of a sudden, I started getting other signs. Um, and they was all connected to Isis. And, but she's an, a big mother goddess. And then I did some work with her. I did a, a, like a bit of a spell thing that I, I was doing. Funnily enough, actually, I ended up working in here. I find it difficult to put a label on myself. I have to for my work but I kind of work for spirit. This is what I do, you know, and it's just get spirit through, get money for it, because it's not like that. I live, this is how I live my life. Tarot reader, because it's the, the cards are there, but I just find it difficult to put labels on myself, if you see what I mean. Once you're open to it, and it's like the size, like the 11 on your camera, that's saying, yeah, this is this is good. This is a good idea. Usually the guy there is, is, is hovering about around me. Bishop Henry John Whitehouse. He's usually the role of ushering spirits in and out. Because he, he visited, he was invited invited over by our Archbishop in the 1800s to take part in some Lambeth conference connected to an Anglican church, which I now go to, but also I picked him up in Affleck first. So I'm wondering if he's been to Manchester. How I do get them is you'll just get a feeling or just get a thought in my head. Just, well, what I would say is, I, I, my belief is that everybody can do this kind of work. And I don't like the, the, you know, the thing about it's only special people, I think you can all do it. And I just think that's more people should do spiritual development. And also not limit yourself as well, because I attend a church, and it's not a spiritual church, it's like an Anglican actual church. So you don't have to, you know, you can, it's kind of up to you what your beliefs are and that kind of thing. But yeah, I would encourage everybody to do a bit of spiritual development, buy a set of tarot cards. <laughs>